Hi, my name is Dominic and I go by the name of The Naked Dev and I am the developer of DLSS Upscaling for Unity. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use it for Unity URP. Let's dive into it. After purchasing the plugin at the Unity Asset Store, simply click the Open in Unity button. This will open a package manager, then click Download and hit Import. Here you can import the plugin. The first step after importing the plugin is to add the DLSS render feature to the URP render asset file. Now you can find this file in the project settings, click on the scriptable render pipeline settings, and then click in the inspector on the renderer list scriptable asset. This is the scriptable render asset file for universal render data. And here you can add render features. Click on hit render feature and type in DLSS. Now you can click on DLSS scriptable render feature. Now the scriptable render feature has been added. The second step is to add the DLSS underscore URP component to the main camera. Click add component, type in DLSS and click on the DLSS underscore URP component. As you can see, the quality settings are defaulted to balanced. We'll keep it for now and we can hit play. As you can see, DLSS is working as most of the aliasing is gone. If you go back to the DLSS settings, here you can set the DLSS quality. DLAA is the highest quality and will offer no performance improvements. Ultra Performance offers the most performance improvements but may look bad on lower resolution screens. In URP, sometimes certain shaders add extra ghosting or blur. If you notice this, you can increase the anti-ghosting slider. This will add a small bit of random jittering, which often improves the blur. However, setting this to 1 may be too much. As you can see, a lot of jittering is happening. I recommend using a value between 0.1 and 0.6. Keep in mind that when testing your performance, DLSS will often not give you any performance increase in the editor, as the Unity editor is very CPU limited and DLSS only improves the GPU performance. Additionally, you should not use any other anti-aliasing, as this will make things look very bad. Also, if you are using different renderers for the different quality settings, make sure you add the DLSS scriptable render feature to all of them. Lastly, DLSS will only work on NVIDIA RTX graphics cards and only on the Windows platform. If you need upscaling for other graphic cards and or platforms, see my FSR3 upscaling for Unity plugin. That's it, you're all set with DLSS in your project. Now, if you run into any issues, don't hesitate to contact me. I have added my contact details in the description below. Now, if you want to know more about my other projects or other Unity plugins that I'm still creating, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And I wish you all the best with your own projects. Good luck.